It's been a while, but we finally got some more news and details on the upcoming Senran Kagura and Hyperdimension Neptunia crossover game. New screenshots, new character looks, new characters, and new gameplay mechanics to discuss. Unfortunately, this news comes from a, a Twinfinite article of dubious writing quality, but it sure as hell provides more details than the Gamatsu article, who, uh, well, basically this time it's just a trailer and nothing else of merit. They didn't provide any details the way the Twinfinite article did. First up, let's have a gander at the new character looks. And when I say new character looks, I'm talking about the untransformed state of the game industry girls. The Senran Kagura girls, to my knowledge, only exist in their transformed state. If they have a non-transformed outfit, uh, I haven't seen it anyway. We also have two new characters, Your Gamer and Tekho, who are part of something called the Steam Legion as well as a better look at the previously talked about Gore the Crow. Of these three characters, according to the Twinfinite article, only Gore is listed as being playable. So it looks like it's story exclusive duty for your game and Tekho, sadly. The official website of the game was updated with information and a few new screenshots talking about the core gameplay mechanics a little bit. As usual with these kinds of games, your abilities rely on the usage of a power gauge. What's different this time, however, is according to the Twinfinite article, time actually slows down, allowing you to pick a ninjutsu skill with zero pressure at all. The face buttons of the PlayStation controller can each have an ability assigned to them, and chaining together ninjutsu abilities leads to a, quote, ninjutsu trigger, end quote, which powers up the effects of the skills used. Up to four skills can be chained or connected. Now. Just to add to the confusion and convoluted nature of this goddamn article, now they bring up an EX gauge, which once filled, can be activated and allows you to use the Shinobi Extreme skills. Whatever the shitting hell that is, a quote, fleshy cutscene, end quote, will play and you'll do a lot of damage. Just when you thought I was done with the combat mechanics, the article mentions another activated skill. It's called Fudin Kazan Drive, and it can apparently be activated whenever the hell you want to activate it, and quote, its effect will have a certain duration, end quote. Well, good thing this article isn't vague, huh? This Fudin Kazan Drive thing is tied to the elements of fire, water, earth, and wind, and despite being able to be used whenever you desire, it has a limited number of activations. Besides the flashy ninja skills, you will of course have access to the traditional ninja weapons of Shuriken and Kunai. They uh, serve as long-range weapons, and let's hope the AI isn't brain-dead and knows how to deal with constantly being pelted with these things in order to chip away at their health bar for some hot, cheap damage action. These Shuriken and Kunai attacks can be comboed with other moves, I'm assuming. The article only mentions combos and doesn't talk about what they combo with, exactly. Shuriken will be the weapon that focuses on long-range damage, while the kunai will apply status effects. Probably like poison, that kind of thing. Uh, when you enter a level or dungeon, as the article labels it, you can select a primary character as well as a partner to tag along with you. The article says that, quote, if you switch between them during a combo, the newcomer will attack right away, end quote. So that doesn't exactly clear up the confusion over whether you can play as both characters interchangeably throughout the level, or if it's only the primary character that you can play as, and the partner sort of acts as like a, a summon or something that appears, beat up, uh, beats up an enemy and then pisses off. In the levels or dungeons, there are things you'll come across called barriers that will trigger a quote, barrier battle, end quote. Defeating all the enemies that appear within this barrier is the only way to progress. Uh, this is probably a similar, if not exactly the same thing, as the Shinobi barriers from the Senran Kagura games, where you defeat all the enemies that pop up within a small enclosed area in order to progress through the level. There will be boss battles, of course, uh, and in addition to their health being displayed, break gauges will show up at the top of the screen, and when the gauge fills up, a quote, break state, end quote, triggers, and the boss will be unable to do anything for a brief period and will take more damage than usual. In order to deal more damage and increase the speed at which the break gauge fills, attacking an enemy from behind is the smartest choice, much like almost every From Software boss. Well, maybe not most, but a few of them. The opening song and ending theme were also revealed, and the ending song's title in particular grabbed my interest. It's called Sing La Bang Show! Exclamation mark. Of course, all in caps. It's performed by Ikiteru Hearts, uh, I think it's like an idol group or something. 
The opening song is called、uh, Utae Odore Otome wa Tsuyoshi or Sing and Dance. The maiden is strong in English. By God, those maidens certainly are strong, but no one cares about the opening and the ending song, right?、Uh, that's all the new info I could get my grubby mitts on today. I'll see you in the next amazingly high octane video. Yes!